Hey there, it's Tab the Car, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up and use the Remind app to share your digital newsletter. And if you're using my smart newsletter as well, if you don't have a digital newsletter, highly recommend it. It's such a time saver, and you can grab mine free at bit.ly slash free digital newsletter. And it looks like this when it's in share mode and you can edit it on the go right in your Google Drive. So if you want to use Remind weekly or however to communicate, basically use it as an announcement app, um, that's what I'll share with you every Monday. I would just send out the newsletter link once I'd updated it as a scheduled text message through Remind. And Remind is free which is awesome and you can send attachments and do a bunch of different things to communicate with parents and to keep them up to date so first off you just want to create a free account and then give your class name and i usually would do the school year with my name since every year you will archive your class and do a new one and then you would search for um, your school, but I'm not going to do that. This is just a mock-up. Then um, this is what it looks like once you're in here. And then you could add students if you wanted to, but the easiest thing is going to be to share the link um, with them or you have in-person instructions as well. You can put this up at open house. Um, which we did to just tell them, hey, um, text at car 2 with this number, and then it will just allow them to set this up right on their phone, which is what you really want when doing a digital newsletter. You want to get to parents on their phone because that's where we all are. And if they don't have to go to desktop, it's going to be so much better. So you also will want to grab this link and put it in um, a printable format, at least for open house, a business card or something like that. A magnet I've even done for your their refrigerator so that you know that they join and do this. Mm -hmm. Then once you get people into your um, class, then you can start messaging. So what you will do here is when you're ready to message out your newsletter for the week or any type of announcement, then this is where you will do it. But before we do that, let's go over to settings and just make sure there's some things that you may want to change. So I definitely would require approval to join. And role-based means um, that only students can message students and parents can only message parents. I'm not sure that I would personally be comfortable with that. I would just have this set to off where only participants can message the owners and they don't see each other or anything like that. I just don't know <laughs> personally what I think about having that um, avenue open like that. You can also add a class owner. So if you have a partner teacher, then um, they can also um, have the same access and send messages like you. So let's go ahead and send that newsletter. So I'm just going to grab my link. Obviously, I'd want to make this more user friendly um, with tinyurl.com or bit.ly. And I have a tutorial on that if you'd like it. But for now, we'll just do that. We'll go to new announcement. We'll add in um, happy. And you can't send a lot of text. So that's just something to keep in mind. You can't send long, long messages. So I'll just say, here's the newsletter, and we will just drop that in there. And um, you can add in pictures. So if you have a, you know, you had something special that day in your class, you could share a picture. You could share a picture of the student of the week, anything like that. Um, and then the important thing here is schedule message. So the cool thing was I could update the newsletter during my break, but I would schedule it in the afternoon after school when I thought the parents would be able to get it with their students. So you just pick your day, pick your time, and then you'd be ready to send. So I hope that's helpful with you getting started with Remind and using it to keep your parents up to date and share the weekly newsletter with them in a way that saves time and reduces emails and headaches and all of that. 
So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I have a Facebook group for digital resource creation tips. If you're interested in learning how to create more digital resources for your classroom and or TBT store, I'd love to connect with you there. That link is also in the description of this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.